Hey guys, it's Marty BLF for Cool Cleveland. I'm out here at Baldwin Wallace University in Finette Coolest Hall, and I'm here with the Dean of the Conservatory. How are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for being here. Susan Van Voorst, everybody. She's amazing. And we're kind of in this, I've been in Finette Coolest Hall, seen tons of stuff here, but what is going on? It's full of pianos. It's a little piano piano farm right at the moment. <laughs> a little piano farm. Yeah. We are very excited because over the summer, actually, in fact, over the last couple of weeks, we just had a shipment of um, 50 or so new Steinway in Boston pianos. Did you say 50? 50, five zero, folks. <laughs> and we are thrilled. We are very close. We're one piano away from becoming an all Steinway school. And that is, that's the promised land for us. So we have one more to go. And um, that piano is in old practice room number 109. Number 109, the dreaded 109. Okay. And so 109 looks kind of ugly, and everything else is just really remarkable. I mean, the, the quality of these instruments is fantastic. And so what you see here is our little piano farm of pianos that are ready to, to be traded in. And traded in for the new ones. Right. So these pianos will be picked up. Many of them will be resold and found. They will find new homes. But their useful life in the conservatory is over. True, true. Now take us back. You guys started this whole All Steinway project back in January 2014. I think Thomas shot a video with you guys and they were rolling them in, right? The coldest day of the year. <laughs> yep. It was, it was great fun. And that day we had 12 pianos coming in. Mm -hmm. That was the beginning of it all. And that was really thanks to an estate gift that we had from one of our very generous donors and very faithful alums. And, um, and at this point in time, we're in a very different place where we, would, we have had many members and friends of the BW community who have contributed along the way and helped us get to this amazing point. So. It is amazing, but you're looking for that one more, right? Just to get that 109 out of here. You guys are starting a big crowdfunding thing. Tell me about it. We are, and actually part of that piano is already funded, so we're really just looking for the last $5,000 to go, and we are, we are hoping to do a, a crowdfunding push, and so we invite all of you to chip in, chime in, and help us get the last piano so that we can kind of announce this fall, we really hope to announce our All Steinway School status. Come on, guys, $5,000, you can get it together for BW. So. They need to be All Steinway, don't you think? Talk about the benefits. I mean, this conservatory is like totally blossoming. Yeah, it's, it's fabulous. Already, we've seen with the new pianos that have been, been in the inventory, introduced to the inventory already, already it's been remarkable. Um, students who are piano majors have said that their, their lesson, their pra practice experience has really changed pretty dramatically. I believe it. Classroom teachers have also said that, you know, just the tone quality has really helped students to hear. Um, and it's consistency, you know, students are, are experiencing excellence on a more consistent basis now. And now that every practice room is going to have a new piano, it's really going to step up the game a little bit. Let's talk about that prestige. I mean, come on, all Steinway School, how many are there out there? There are, we will be the 13th conservatory, and then there is another list, a, a larger list of about 100 or so uh, music schools throughout the country. But it's a, it's a pretty prestigious list, and we are really very anxious to yeah. be a part of that list. And you're bringing in more students, right? We are. This fall, we have the largest entering freshman class ever. Wow! We are absolutely delighted. Um, five bassoonists and three harpists and just really a robust class, high academic standards and profiles, and um, we can't wait to meet them and have them here. They're going to be great. We can't wait to check them out. I mean, usually spring things roll around with the Bach Festival. People can come and see what's going on with these students and really get involved, right? Right, right. So this year's lineup programmatically is also really exciting. Um, one thing that's going to be really very, very exciting in the spring is that we have the convergence of festivals. So our Focus Festival of Contemporary Music and our Bach Festival will be in the spring. And there is a lot of very dynamic programming surrounding those two festivals. So I encourage folks as the year goes on, keep checking the website and really look for the programming because there's not a week that goes by, as you know, Marty, that, that there isn't something really fabulous here. I love BW. I'm an alum. Aw, jackets, YJ4L. And I love the conservatory, love this room. And with all Steinways, I mean, I'm going to pitch in and help you guys. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, you can count me in for a buck or we two. Count, uh, you can do a little bit. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, Susan. I'm looking forward to the last Steinway coming in in October. And you guys, come help funding. All right. Thanks so much. No problem. I'm Marty Bailey for CoolCleveland.com, and I'll see you online. Have a great one.